If mercy reigned everywhere, the earth would become paradise and hell a horrible fairy tale. An English writer and priest, Charles Colton. In this movie, we would like to tell you about the acts of mercy of a charitable foundation, House of Bread. The foundation, which has been working in this direction for over 15 years in Zhitomir, Ukraine. In 1991, when the powerful Soviet Union broke apart, our country, Ukraine, got its independence. But together with independence, we inherited a social and economic destruction. Different enterprises stopped functioning, and as a result, a lot of Ukrainians lost their jobs and found themselves below income poverty line. People with special needs, pensioners and the lonely ones were suffering heavily. They belong to the most vulnerable segments of the population. Though Ukraine is considered to be one of the biggest countries in Europe, living standards here are far from the European ones. To feed a hungry man, to support the one in need, to lend a helping hand to an orphan or a disabled person – these were the aims of the founders of charitable foundation House of Bread. And in 1997, there was the first step made and the first soup kitchen initiated in one of the regional, regional centers, notably Zhitomir, where people could get a free lunch. For many, this free lunch was the only means of existence. In the time when no salaries or pensions were given, and people had not enough money to buy food or medicine, our charitable foundation started helping the poor, making small food bags and distributing the most necessary food products. After a while, there was another soup kitchen opened in Birdichev and several more afterwards. There were also some soup kitchens opened in Chernobyl area, in Yemilchino, Olevsk, Ludini. Altogether, we have 12 functioning soup kitchens where 600 people get free lunches every day. One more pressing problem of our society is invalids. These are people who have no possibility to leave their homes but who are also in need of getting free lunches. To help them, there are volunteers in our foundation who bring lunches to their homes. Very often, they are the only ones people with special needs get in touch with. Look at gratitude and unspoken warm-heartedness their eyes shine with. From outside, everything looks quite simple. Feed the one who is hungry. But practically, it is far from being an easy process. At first, it's necessary to store up foodstuffs. A lot of paperwork is involved here as well. Making a menu, accountability, the mere process of cooking, feeding, food delivery. And all this is made possible thanks to the financial help of volunteers from all over the world. In these donations, in this financial help, there is a little part of human's love and compassion for the one in need. Another serious problem our society faces today is homelessness. These are people who live in the streets and sub-basements. Taking care of them is also a part of our charity work. Forty homeless people are given hot lunches in one of our soup kitchens every day. In winter time, when the temperature was below 30 degrees Celsius, the homeless were just dying from cold and hunger. In addition to the special feeding center for homeless people, there were also arranged two more where they could warm up and receive hot lunches. And the number of people of no fixed abode we had given food to rose up to 80. Delivery of medical equipment to the hospitals of our region is one of the most important humanitarian programs our charity foundation is involved in. It's a shame to say that some healthcare institutions of our region may be proud of medical equipment 
installed in the middle of the last century. That's why even used medical equipment brought from European hospitals is of great help to our medical establishments. Among this equipment distributed to hospitals and polyclinics of our region via House of Bread, there are functional beds, medical furniture, different types of computer facilities, X-ray apparatus, ultrasonic lithotripter, a lot of bed clothes, and other stuff. Our foundation is also involved in distribution of baby food to children's hospitals, helping disabled kids, which is also considered to be a very important part of our humanitarian program. And of course, the work of House of Bread would be impossible if God didn't give his love, mercy, compassion and beneficence to many people. We would like to thank our friends from different countries all over the world who collect financial and humanitarian help for poor and needy people in Ukraine. May God bless you abundantly for your kindness and acts of charity.